Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke this Monster, and this is episode, I want to say this is episode 7 of our Astro Near series. A lot of episodes coming out now, but that is okay. I, I'm absolutely loving these episodes, so yeah, episode 7, here we are, and uh, we do have some stuff to do. We actually just got back from uh, the planet, uh, I want to say it was Glacia we just got back from. And uh, we got a ton of resources here. So we actually are just going to go ahead right now and set these on the smelter because we are definitely going to need them smelted. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So right now, one thing that we definitely want to do is we want to expand our base. But if you guys have noticed, uh, we are... We, we switched bases. This is no longer our main base, but this is a much better base. So... Um, I'm trying to decide which one we want to uh, expand. I'd like to expand the other one, but this one's already so complete that I almost don't want to. So I think for right now we're going to expand this one, and if you guys like the other base more, then we can go back to that one and expand that one. But for right now we have everything here, so I think we're going to try to expand this one a little bit more. How much is a large shuttle? Because we definitely are going to need one. Two exochips, a titanium alloy, and a ceramic. Well, we have a ceramic right here. Let's see what titanium alloy takes. Ooh, we actually should be able to make this here, but we do need nitrogen, which means we also do need a uh, atmospheric condenser. So I believe we have that unlocked, right? We should, we don't. We do now though, it takes one plastic, one glass, and one iron. Well, here's our iron. Let's go ahead and make up a plastic. What does a plastic take? One carbon and one compound. Well, we got a carbon right here. And uh, I don't believe we have any compound. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get some compound cooking up. And uh, we also do have a ton of research. So let's go ahead and uh, get this open up here. And we can start doing some research and the reason, so we actually brought this back with us from Glacio in the last episode, and the reason we went out of our way to grab all this stuff is because if you look here, it gives you 8,000 bytes in only 30 minutes, which is a ton of bytes, and uh, we're going to go through these super fast, but that's okay because we need the bytes. As of right now, we only have 4,000, and so 7,000 in 30 minutes is crazy. Now we got a ton of stuff going as well, so we're using a lot of power, but that's okay because we're doing all right. So let's go ahead and get our uh, backpack kind of unloaded. We also do have some dynamite. I don't know when we'll need that, but I know we always tend to need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set them pretty far away from my base, just in case if anything happens. But we do have it in case if we need it. And I do tend to believe that we will probably end up needing it, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm uh, really happy that we're finally getting some research going though. We need a compound, that's what we needed. We got our compound right here. We got our carbon. Now we can make a plastic. We also need one glass as well. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any uh, quartz. So let's go into the mines real quick and find some quartz. Oh, where? I know there's quartz right here. I walked right past it. There we go. Oh, it's auto smelting for us. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and uh, bring this up before we accidentally smelt another piece of quartz. So we got our glass right here. We got our plastic. And I believe the iron is right here. And so yeah, we should be able to make the atmospheric condenser now. So, yeah, there we go. There you go. Print this guy up. Okay, what else do we need for a large shuttle? So as of right now, I think I'm deciding that our next goal is to make a large shuttle. It'll just make our life so much easier. So for a large shuttle, we also need... So we're working on the titanium alloy right now. We need one ceramic, which I actually just put right here. And we need two exochips. So that's actually going to be good with our dynamite, because we need dynamite to get exochips, which is very unfortunate. But let's go ahead and compass... Exochips do show up on the maps, I believe, but I'm not necessarily sure where. So we are going to go ahead and go looking for some exochips. And I just want to make sure that I can't open this at all. Yep, opened with explosives. So we are going to go ahead and waste our dynamite on these. It's kind of a shame, but... 
There we go. Ooh, it did drop a ton of uh, exochips, though. There's one, two, three exochips in there. That's great. We do have the debris, too, which we will use for scrap eventually, so I'll pick that up. Um, yeah, we got three exochips. Pretty cool. And uh, let's empty our exochips here real quick. And it does look like our atmospheric condenser is done as well, so that is pretty cool. Do we have any resin? I don't think that we do. Um, that's okay. Ooh, our all of our stuff is smelted too. Um, we'll go. We're just gonna go ahead and move this off for the moment. We're gonna put this on here. We're gonna set it to nitrogen because that's what we need for uh, the titanium alloy. So what else do we need for titanium alloy? Uh, titanium and graphene. So that one's actually pretty easy. So for graphene, we do need a hydrazine, which does consist of those two. Ooh, this actually, this went really fast. We can go ahead and stop that. We already got enough nitrogen to go ahead and uh, use this. So first, we're actually going to go ahead and make a... Ooh, actually, first, for hydrazine, hydrazine is used for graphene. Let me find graphene. We need a hydrazine. But for a hydrazine, we need hydrogen. So we're going to have to go ahead and set this to hydrogen as well. There we go. That's all we're going to do for right now. We don't need a full thing to do it. So let's go ahead and switch this out. And let's do a... Uh, let's make a hydrazine. Alrighty, our hydrazine is done. Now we can go ahead and turn that into graphene using the graphite that was already on my backpack. And then from here we can combine the graphene with the titanium and the nitrogen to go ahead and make titanium alloy. Easy peasy. Okay, so for a large space shuttle we got one titanium alloy, two exochips, a ceramic and I believe that's all we need so let's go ahead and purchase the, uh, the files for it and now we should be able to go ahead and print it up large shuttle let's get printing now while that does print uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some storage because I do believe uh, we need some storage for this so uh, one thing that we're actually definitely going to need for this is a uh, we're totally going to need a oxygenator. Now we do have the one on our base and we do have, we actually did make one for this shuttle, but we ended up leaving that on the moon. So we're gonna need another oxygenator. And so um, let's go ahead and get one of those printed. I do need some aluminum though, which is a little unfortunate at the moment because I don't have any aluminum. So let's go and uh, let's go find some aluminum down in the caves. Alrighty, heading back up. Yes, it looks like our shuttle is done. Pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and uh, set this over here right now. Uh, we do need to smelt our aluminum. Let's go ahead and do that. And so there's only 50% fuel left in this rocket, which means uh, it's probably only good for here on Silva or Sylvia, however you want to pronounce it. We will probably have to get a new one if we're planning on going to another planet anytime soon. But for right now, we got our large shuttle. And you can see, this one doesn't have any storage on it. It does have the little spot for the oxygenator. But other than that, it has no storage for bringing stuff to other planets. But on this one, we have the oxygen spot, as well as more storage, which is really, really good. And we're definitely going to be using it. So, yeah, really happy to get that. And uh, like I said, we do need an oxygenator for this thing, and that's the main reason we even went to get aluminum. So let's go ahead, grab our resources here that we need for an oxygenator. Oh, our oxygen. Let's go ahead and attach our oxygenator. Let's go ahead and look at the snail challenges here. I believe maybe I need to hook it up to some power. So let's do that. Now we can do some of the snail challenges. Not my biggest. What the heck? That music is creepy. Why is it the creepiest music?
Why did they pick the creepiest music for that? So I think uh, this should have unlocked some snail challenges though. So maybe we work on some snail challenges. Uh, find and scan its discarded shells in the forest. Easy, we pass these all the time. Let's go and scan some of these shells. There's one right there. Oh, there's two right there. There's three right there. There's four. They're all, they're all right here. One, two, three. We only need uh, five of them. That's four. There's a fifth one right here. There we go. Easy peasy. So now... We can go ahead and do this. Which should give us this little snail empty thing right here. And do we want to try to fill that up? Provide it with soil, with zinc, and with a bounce vine seed. Okay, so soil should not be a problem. Does it have to be a full thing of soil? That one worked. Yes, yeah, so, so now we just need some zinc, which I believe I have. No, I don't think I have any zinc. The zinc. I have zinc. Cool. Provide it with zinc. Ooh, this is what I think is the bounce vine. Yep, it is a bounce vine. And we got a seed. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, place that there. Cool. And then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to place the bounce vine seed as well. Because I know that the snails, uh, once you get them, they eat the seeds for feet, I guess, food. So, okay, we got that challenge done. And that gave us, uh, what did that give us? Give us a little horn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That scene? Oh, there's a snail. We found it. We found the snail. Hi, little guy. Omo, the open emo wheel. Let's do Lunar Slide. Did, where'd he go? Don't run away. Did I just scare you away with my Lunar Slide? I think it was a Lunar Slide. That worked. That, that one worked before. Use the terrarium to collect Sylvia. How do I do that? Oh, befriend. Yay! Gaze. We got a snail. Ooh, I gotta get a. Th I think the thumbnail is actually gonna be the snail. Look at that. We got a pet. Okay, so G Sylvia is the name, but that's the same name as the planet. So I gotta give it another name. What should I name him? I'm thinking Sniffles. His name is Sniffles. I love Sniffles. Sniffles is cool. <laughs> Nice. I love sniffles. What is... Okay, so I know... I can pet him? That is so cute. Okay. Um, so I know the snails, once you have them on your backpack, uh, they give you, like, special abilities. So, let's go ahead. Put him on my backpack. And so I do have to feed him to activate the special abilities. I'll go ahead keep one of the seeds... And then I will plant another one. And I'll feed him the seed. Look how much brighter it just got. He's his own light now. That's pretty cool. He's a light that doesn't require power. Uh, he requires food, which is a little bit, uh, you know, annoying at some times. But a lot of the snails do different things. So I know some gives you oxygen. Some makes you, like, bounce and jump really high. So, pretty cool snails here. And we got a friend now. We got Mr. Sniffles. Hi, Mr. Sniffles. But, yeah, that's probably going to do it for this episode. We got a lot done. We got a nice large shuttle. And we got a friend now, which is pretty cool. Next episode, we are going to go ahead. And I think we're going to go and we're going to move a lot of the stuff from this base over to our other base. So... That'll be next episode, it will kind of expand that base, and then maybe we'll also 
explore some of the gateway chambers because that's got to be in an episode here pretty soon we'll have to wait and see though but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video